This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the second attempt at sealing this system, the pole system I've been working on. As I told you, I'm going to be showing you all the steps, good and bad. For those of you who, who aren't interested, don't look. That's the stand or caddy stand you're looking at there. It only has two plates in it. It's less than an eighth of an inch apart. They're 12 inches long by 6 inches wide. In the last video, you could see what I did was I put a liquid gasket on this unit on the bottom in hopes that this will seal it. By pressing the gasket together, enabling me still to take the part, the unit apart. So what we're going to do is put that rubber gasket that's down there. You can see it, the black that was poured on there yesterday. It comes from a tube. The last video shows me putting that on. And what we're going to do is take this day-old gasket and pour water in it. Basically, this unit is the same as a 3LR1000, only it's clear and it's larger. Once I get the pulse system working on this, there should be no reason why it won't work on the 3L1000. The reason all this extra work is necessary is I want to be able to take the unit completely apart and by using this rubber gasket hopefully that will enable me still to do that since the only seal is going to be made when I press the two together. The problem I'm having is this plastic tube I can't cut it precise enough to make a seal like on the 3LR1000. I have a machine shop that cuts the tubes with all the setup fees. I can't just have them cut one of these. It's too much money. So what we're going to do is pour the water in there now to see how that worked. There are many ways I can do this. If this doesn't work, I could put a solid type gasket on the bottom. I just don't want to go to the expense of doing that or the trouble. It's not a question of if this is going to work. If this will work, I just have to get the right combination. The plastic in this tube is very, very thin, and that's one of the reasons I'm having such trouble creating a seal. I may have to go to a thicker plastic. And bango, there you go, leak. That was an exercise in wasted time. Back to the store, this time aquarium sealant. One of my friends suggested it, and that's what I'm going to put on it this time. The problem with this is this is essentially gluing the bottom together, which I didn't want to do. But for now, I'm just going to settle for it if this works. This is aquarium sealant. By the way, it really smells bad. I'm going to put a real generous helping on this. 
and then I'm going to put it down and put a helping around it as well, just like in a fish tank. I'm sure it will work, but this negates what I'm trying to do, and that is make it so I can access the inside easily. I'll still be able to do that. It's just going to be more trouble. But this will hopefully work. Okay, we've got the aquarium cement between the two there now. And what I'm going to do is put also the sealant around the edge of it. The only trouble with this is it has to be left 48 hours. I'm very low on patience, but I will leave it. After doing this, I go back to the electronic side. So the next videos you'll see will be on the electronics. I was kind of hoping I'd have a seal here and I could test this unit out. You could go to hydrogen tap, tap.com if you want to check out other things I have there.